Registered Phenomena Code 191 Object Class Beta Orange Hazard Types Animated Hazard Aggression Hazard Sentient Hazard Grouped Hazard Containment Protocols RPC-191 is to currently remain in its current location of Mall. See Addendum 1 Concrete walls are to be constructed on every possible form of an external building door. Personnel are to enter the building containing RPC-191 through the artificial opening in the building's roof and exit, via the help of a helicopter. The recall process should take less than five minutes, due to the sound of the procedure alerting nearby RPC-191 entities. Personnel are also required to use flashlights in every room, due to the authority sealing every intact and damaged window due to their potential as exit routes for RPC-191. In case that Protocol Jordan-1 has been enacted by at least one personnel in range of RPC-191, one military-grade grenade can be used for either instant self-extermination or for a chance to cause any sort of damage to RPC-191. Note, any attempt to use a grenade outside of Protocol Jordan-1 will result in instant discontinuation of service and the administration of sufficient penalties. Currently, there aren't any efficient methods of neutralizing RPC-191, and personnel are encouraged to not waste authority resources on any attempt to harm any of the entities. Due to the nature of RPC-191's form of behavior, and patrolling the mall being unpredictable, and its inability to see pending confirmation by the board, personnel are expected to keep the minimum distance required of 100 meters and not make any noise over 30 decibels. Description: RPC-191 is a group of currently 30 confirmed entities, resembling intact porcelain toilets. These entities remain for the majority of the day gathered in the building's basketball court in a sort of cyclical manner, which the monitoring staff has dubbed stasis hours, during which time they will show no signs of movement or any sort of activity. However, after 2000 to 0600 hours, RPC-191 will start to split off into individual entities, which will then start patrolling any intact halls of the building. RPC-191 appears to move in an almost floating manner, avoiding making noise and keeping a relative even pace unless it takes notice of any sort of artificial noise not natural to the mall environment, in which case Protocol Jordan-1 is enacted, in which it will increase its speed to about 5 meters a second. At the same time, it will start to move the top of its bowl in a sort of clapping fashion in order to produce noise that will alert any nearby entities, which will then proceed to follow the original entity in the pursuit of anything deemed as an intruder. In the event of encirclement of any individual by RPC-191, it will attempt to immobilize them by locking their legs between different entities, applying enough pressure until the victim falls to the ground either from pain or inability to resume balance. After that, RPC-191 will attempt to kill the person. Documented methods employed by RPC-191 are, but not limited to, drowning in the liquid inside one of the entities, crushing of multiple bones in order to induce fatal shock, and in very rare cases, the body in its… The material that RPC-191 is made of is currently unknown even though it has the same texture and color expected from commercial toilet porcelain, it is remarkably resistant to any form of attempted damage, including but not limited to conventional bullets, hammer hits, and military-grade grenades employed by patrol units of the Authority. Patrol personnel have also noted unpleasant stenches coming from every instance of RPC-191. Every entity has been noted as having a different smell, which has led to easier identification by the patrolling personnel. It has been confirmed that those entities were the toilets used while Maul was still active. It has been theorized by the monitoring staff that their activity was initiated after the formal closing of the mall and its abandonment by the local population. Furthermore, based on their particular form of guardianship over intact mall gadgets and toys, they seem to not want anyone to enter the building but them. Addendum 1 At During one of the scheduled personnel patrols, one instance of RPC-191 started pursuing and during the chase, it lost track of the patrolman and accidentally exited the building. 
After that, it continued to move about 100 meters away from the mall until it reached the crossroads. It seemed to be confused by its surroundings, as evidenced by its lack of movement after that point. Dr. Shekel of the monitoring staff was sent to the site in order to lure the entity back to the mall. Interview 01 Interviewed Patrolman Jefferson Interviewer Dr. Shekel Forward Interview with a survivor of Protocol Jordan 1 Begin Log 2 AM So, can you describe the circumstances that led to the enactment of Protocol Jordan 1? Uh, I was just patrolling the upper wing, man. When that damn toilet appeared right in front of me, I didn't know what to do. So I hauled ass and I ran as far as I could. One time it looked like I'd lost the fucker. Next thing I know, the fucking toilet is outside. They never did that before. Hmm, okay. Do you think the remaining entities could possibly do the same thing? I don't fucking know. Seal the fucking place. Make sure they never get out. Imagine walking toilets terrorizing the populace. This shit's whack. Very well, Mr. Jefferson. We will make sure to administer sufficient amnestics so that traumatic experience is no longer relevant to your service. End log. 2.05 AM Closing Statement After that interview, it was decided by the board to seal any possible exit of the building.